Um, that huge gun says something, but I'm not too sure. There we go. Oh, I just eviscerated this guy. <laughs> Please wait while I invisibility you. <laughs> Please wait. Please help. <laughs> Please help. I will be with you shortly to rip your intestines out. <laughs> we we offer all kinds. The reason why I haven't killed you yet. The voices in my head can't decide which weapon would be most fun. <laughs> The the voices in your head should take a, a chapter from Hannibal Lecter's book. Yo, kid, Captain, take my hand. I'll help you up. Private Wyatt, good kid. I'm sure you'll return the favor sooner than later. Yeah. Pay attention, bear boys. This is all turned from a goose hunt to a stick-up job. <laughs> Behind us now is a center pillar of the German army. What are you doing at Gunner Master? Private gate, sirs. Important for duty. Oh, crazy and dedicated. Welcome to the war. Take over, Private. <laughs> now, General Deathshead is nearer to us now than he's been in years. Some nasty wounds you've got there, Private. Be sure to mind that bleep. We eliminate the general, we cut the head off the crowd war machine. If we don't, they're gonna have us for breakfast. You all right there, kid? Sir, my eyes are watering, and I think I'm gonna be sick. Is this normal? It's just nurse. We'll teach you a trick. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Count to four. All there is to it. We're having our ass tied by some Nazi mutant fucking Frankenstein. So we ready then, lads? This time, we get so, the job done. Let's I got go. some new sheets on, today as well. Oh. And guess what? They're not normal sheets. Really? What? They're you microfiber sheets. This is a war, not a fucking Sunday church walk. Is that because you have allergies or it's just a sheets you fix? No, no, I thought that was there's a bird can sheet, but they're not there's a bird can. They're microfiber. Oh. You have some kind of a dish crap. Oh, that's. Pick. Climb up this wall. Get inside. Look at the control room for this big fucking door and open it for us. You see the Nazi firearms? You take them. Might be better than ours. The rest of us will come here from down here. Now, once the door's open, we get inside, we work our way up through the building, we meet up again on the top floors, we find Death's head, and we shoot him in the head. Pressure, lads. But keep in mind, this may be our last chance. If we don't get dead set now, it is all over. Like a badass. Like a bows. <laughs> really up to truth. Wow, that plane just did a 9-11. <laughs> no, 9-11 jokes or Holocaust jokes, please. I have a key copy of this. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. It was a tad insensitive. I need to hit it. I'm sorry, sir. But, dude, uh, yeah, yeah, you should know, like, every video is... Is gonna have to have a one asshole you know, commenting on it anyway. True. <laughs> uh, I, I guess it's right for us to not do that.
I'm Australian, <laughs> so... <laughs> Staring job, I suppose. That was weird. I fell through a non fallable area. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't see. Playful. Now you can't get back in. Or can you? <laughs> what you gotta do is spam the E button when you walk down the whole place. Spam that shit like it's 1999. Party like it's 1927. <laughs> For copyright right reasons, this song has been removed. <laughs> Ah, sensory. How I hate thou. <laughs> Copyright. How I hate thou. <laughs> I guess they can't do shit, like, if the song's, like, what, over a hundred years old or something? <laughs> and then you're quoting Beethoven. Yeah, basically. So it's okay to have Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> really? It's not like the guy's going to copyright fucking <laughs> his ninth symphony now. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> but he's gonna rise like, from the dead and copyright claim me. <laughs> he's 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 gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he throws his grave in Germany and be like, hey, no. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's, as, as long as the, as long as the, is, the musician is dead, it's all fine. This is the saddest shit ever. These dogs are annoying. <sighs> like you said. Well, like you said, you have no bones. You only have a knife. Good puppy. Here's your daily dose of iron. Through your throat. Are you low on iron? No, you're not. <laughs> Please, not again, daddy. Not the knife. They have Roboto eyes. Really? <laughs> Bad puppy. Yeah, they have lots of robotic animals. It's it's like a fucking sadistic fucking petting zoo. Turn to bestiality is fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit kinky. Uh, you only live once, so why not try kink out? Oh, don't go yoloing on me. 
Oh, trust me, I hate that shit. I just say it ironically just because we can. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hans. <laughs> he's, he's having a fucking time of his life. <laughs> he's too busy yellowing. <laughs> he's busy being a dick. Ma, ma, yoko. Like yo yo. <laughs> uh, gotta hate teenagers. Have, have I told you that? No, you haven't. <laughs> I find them to be stupid, even though I'm on the last year of being one. Even since, you know, I was, you know, let's say, a younger teen, they're just, they're just so stupid. That is the hipster pronounce YOLO. Yo yo. <laughs> yes, actually. Dr drinking shitty beer and listening to bands no one gives a shit about. I have no idea where I'm meant to be going. Me either. Oh, but hopefully we don't find any hipsters on the way. Someone asked me the other day, and this was a serious question. That they thought that if I if I was to hang around somebody straight for a yeah. number of weeks, talking about you know, my lifestyle, yeah, I turn them homosexual. Honest opinion. That's just stupid. I mean, if the person's straight, how can you turn them gay? Or bi? Or... Whatever they... Or whatever sex reason. Well, it depends on how persuasive you are. It all depends. Depends on... Oh, it, it depends if if you can really convince the straight person to do something uh, of a, another sexuality. <laughs> you know, most of them would say, "Oh no, I I I would never do that." But here here's the stupid thing, right? So like, I I so sometimes I would head onto a site like Craigslist, right, yeah. and see the adult ads on it like oh you know it's like come over and fuck me basically and um I would, I would see something along this line 